Hello friends, I am speaking with your friend Prabhu Arun. Now I am telling in this C tutorial that one of the concept that you used to do, uh, get data from uh, database to Excel sheet. Okay, you 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 have the some data in your project. Okay, such as that a uh, point of sale that like that project you contain means that all the product detail you want to get from SQL Server database to uh, in your Excel sheet okay you want to get means like this you can use this method okay okay it's one of the important concept to get data of all from database to uh, to our Excel sheet okay okay friends now I'm telling that about that concept then after I'm telling about how to pass the data how to import data from excel sheet to database okay so i am telling about that concept in another one video okay now i am telling in this uh, in this tutorial i will tell about how to get um, data sql server data from sql database to um, excel sheet okay now how to get the data from sql server database to excel sheet okay Okay, friends. Now I'm telling that concept. It's one of the useful to everyone. Okay. Okay, friends. Now I'm telling about that step by step. See, whenever you get the data, that time you should follow this, um, this eight method. Okay, this eight method, uh, simple method. Okay, everyone can, everyone can get the data from SQL Server database to uh, Excel sheet. See. Uh, you should whenever you should get the data from a point of sale like this means uh, you should install that projects okay uh, project software then after you only after only you can get the data from uh, database to Excel sheet okay so now I am telling about that how to get that uh, data from SQL Server database to um, to our SQL sheet okay okay friends now I will tell about this. Uh, your first uh, your project data of database data table okay that data table of database uh, get by following methods okay um, first open ms excel sheet okay and then after choose the data menu having in menu bar okay the data menu having in menu bar okay and then select other source and then adding SQL server in list okay and then give server name server name means uh, in this server window open okay the server window will be open there when you select that uh, adding as uh, from SQL server list it's one whenever you select that that time that uh, one window open that is that SQL server okay server name window Okay, you select that SQL server name. What is your current server name? Uh, that one you should declare that. But you just given dot means it's automatically uh, get the server name. Okay, uh, it's defaultly get the data, uh, get the server name. Okay, now then select data name and the table name and then give finish import the uh, SQL server to Excel. Then you will get the record from all records from SQL database to Excel sheet okay okay friends now I am telling about the concept now see first I am open that um, Excel sheet okay so this is my first concept so first to open that uh, Microsoft Excel sheet so now I am open that Excel sheet okay now open this one okay now having that menu in data data menu having from other so just select this so this is second point okay so just I am going to show to you see choose data menu and menu bar select other source having that this two line I am doing now see I am going to select data menu data in menu and then add other source and selected here and then from SQL server okay now I am selected this so the data connection wizard to open the window okay now I am told to you you are giving that um, that server name okay 
server name and then select data name and table and then import okay so only this three table uh, three concept i will tell you here server name i want to declare just you what is the server name you can declare that or just given dot okay just you given dot means you should uh, it's automatically get that server name okay then you select the windows authentication you are using the password to the in your sql server data means database means you should select this one or uh, not using the, not using the on uh, this uh, new on uh, password on uh, method you just select uh, use windows authentication method okay just select this one and then give next okay then next we should select that on uh, table name database of table name okay so the windows opened here what is that i am select uh, given the server name and then we should select the master uh, database okay here having the master database but we need um, data entry database okay i'm just have the many more database but i am select here um, data entry database okay so just um, go to select here data entry okay this data entry database i'm selected here so having the table in this database um seven table one two three four five six seven okay this seven table having here oh and selected data entry and then uh, table the data entry database of uh, table having here see i'm show to you in visual studio of this database see sql server here data connection this database having here data entry okay this is data entry project of table available see this seven table having in this sql server database okay so server this is sql server database this sql server database of data having some of data show table data see here having that eight or nine column available so all the records um, declared in sql server database okay this all the data okay now this old record i want to get to excel sheet how to get just i am go to here data entry selected and then go to select register table okay why means see in this register table having that see register table having this old record so i am selected register table and then register table and then click next it's contain the data entry registered like that you can just all the records came here um, then you give finish now open that import data okay it is the this is the last step import data like this came here which place you need just go to one 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 minute friends just i'm one again i'm doing here just select and then give dot and then next so the window server uh, the data connection windows open here okay now I'm go to select the data entry data entry and then register and then click next so data entry came here and then give finish now I'm go to source now I'm going to declare the here table okay this is, that is the one of the table and then new worksheet or existing worksheet any new exist means just click new or exist means just click exist okay and then click ok means you can get that all record from sql see this one two three four five six seven eight eight record get from this one two three four five six seven eight okay see null value available see this null value not declared but this data declared data but so this all the records get to from uh, null value not came here okay what we are declaring that one data only came here okay so you can import and then export like this that SQL uh, from SQL server to uh, Excel sheet. Okay, so friends, I will tell 
uh, another one best concept the how to import data from sql server to sorry how to import data from excel sheet to sql server database okay step by step i am telling another one concept in uh, this concept in another one video okay by friend you will like this means just and uh, by friend now